Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and today I'm going to share with you the latest Stamparia releases. These are now shipping from Scrap and Create, so if you had a pre-order in, it probably went out yesterday. And then, of course, we have inventory to um, to fill orders that come in today or in the future. So I wanted to share with you, uh, this is a Stamparia release, but I am going to share with you at the end some coordinating flowers that really go well with this collection. So the first one we're going to go over is Garden of Promises. Garden of Promises. This is the Romance Collection. And um, the Romance Collection comes with a collection pack. It does not come with a backgrounds pack. And I think that's consistent with all of the Romantic Collections. And this is really pretty. I think this would make a beautiful Mother's Day gift. Look how gorgeous that is. Lots of flowers that you can fussy cut, but it's also just a gorgeous background. I mean, it makes a beautiful uh, 12 by 12 two-page spread. Look at that. <clears throat> I, I'm anxious to work with this collection. Um, there's um, there's a second one uh, that is kind of a re-release of an older pattern that I really like as well. Look how beautiful. I love these. I would definitely cut that out so that it would be a window. And then this spray, you could easily fussy cut it and put it wherever you want if it's not where you want it now. And the books. This is a nice background page. And another really nice background page. This is definitely a statement piece here. And again, you could cut the inside of the clock out and either offset it so that this becomes the frame or just do without it. Apply it someplace else. Look how beautiful these pages are. I'm so impressed with this collection. I really love this color palette. It's nice. Um, they're just under six by six cut apart, so they make nice card toppers, uh, but they also make nice flaps in your mini albums. Look how beautiful this is. I can see this being, you know, opening top, bottom in a mini album. More card toppers or features for your, um, for your uh, mini album pages. Another beautiful background and more frames. I love the frames. They're really nice for layering. Lots of sentiments to use either in cards or spread throughout your album. And this sort of lends itself to cut, fussy cutting. Another beautiful background. So in this collection, even though it doesn't come with a separate background, you have lots of background pages to work with. So in addition to that, for this collection, we have wooden shapes. We have, I think these are adhesive backed, but I'm not positive. I don't know if it says so, but these are chipboard pieces. I think they have adhesive on the back, but check the uh, online description. And then we have several, I'm gonna set these aside so you can look at these individually, uh, beautiful rice papers. And these make just for beautiful decorative boxes, covers on albums, something beautiful or some beautiful past cannot be discovered without getting lost. There's that beautiful statement piece again. Cherish every moment. I think this is really pretty. I'm gonna pull these pieces back in. We also have our chipboard pieces. There are, does it say? It does on the description, but I don't see it here. But there's quite a few pieces in here. I would say there's probably 40. Um, but read the description online. I'm going to pull the collection pack in, and then I'm going to show you some coordinating flowers we have. So I'm going to pick a page. There we go. So we have these Prima flowers. Look how beautiful that goes. And then if you want to bling it up a little, we have the Prima butterflies. We have a nice, simple cream color that you can add. And then we have um, basically the same color palette, but it's scaled down a little. Isn't that beautiful? So you have a lot of choices. Um, and these flowers are available in our shop right now too. These are Prima flowers. Okay, so that is Garden Promise. I'm going to put this up and then come back with the next release. I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. So this is the You and Me collection. You and Me collection. So we also have some coordinating Prima flowers. And as you can see, they're kind of a mauve pink. Um, which goes perfectly with this collection. So we have the chipboard pieces. 
actually they call those die cuts. This is the chipboard. And then we have wooden shapes. Beautiful rice papers. So we've got a nice background. We've got some shapes. We've got these square pieces. This, without a doubt, is the most popular one we have for this collection because it makes a beautiful box that you could put your album in or a cover on your album. I'm gonna set these pieces aside. I'm gonna pull in the collection pack and then we're gonna go over the background pack. So some of you may recognize this. There was an older collection, I think it was called Ceremony, um, that has some similar images in, in it uh, that I made an album, wow, probably four years ago. So this is a beautiful collection. I think it had the cake, but these are new for sure. I don't remember shoes being in it. Oh, there's more frames, I love those. And I think this, uh, the couple was in the other package. Look at that beautiful background. This is very, very romantic, very well suited for wedding. Gorgeous. Okay, there we go. Can, this makes for a perfect 12 by 12 layout if you wanna have your menu or, I did, uh, I didn't keep my menu, but I did keep my invitation in my book. And lots of little cut aparts for journaling and embellishing. Another beautiful background. This makes for a beautiful uh, layout, and then this is also just a great background sheet. Both of them are, even if you choose not to get the background pack. And then lots of fun little cut apart things. So that's the collection pack. And then here is the backgrounds for that collection. Oh, wow, they're all gorgeous. <gasps> I love it. And of course, as usual, I'm looking at this at the same time. That's nice too. It's it's a little different. Uh, it's nice to have a little something a little more masculine in there. These are beautiful. Oh, <laughs> I always love the Baroque patterns. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love the stripes too, because you can add these as embellishments on the edges of things, either as border strips or on your flaps. That's a nice border strip right there. It's gorgeous. Oh, another one, nice. These strips are pretty. My eye went right to that. Oh my goodness. Okay, I can't wait to work on this one too. <laughs> I think I like the spring one better just because I've already done something with this, with a collection that was very, very similar. And um, the spring just fits with what the time of year we're in right now. So these all go together. <coughs> so there's a couple of um, Prima flowers that coordinate beautifully with this collection. I'm gonna take a break, clear my set, and then bring in the last one. Okay, here we are in the long awaited new collection uh, or variation of um, Vagabond. So this one is Vagabond Aviator. Vagabond Aviator. And it comes with a collection pack and backgrounds as well as collectibles. And here is all the goodies that I'm going to set aside while we go through the collection pack. <clears throat> this collection has been so popular. Every uh, variation of it has been so popular. So we've got lots of sentiments over here. Let me get this out of the way. And I, I'm not a big fan of the people, but I do like the background a lot. So I think it would be pretty easy to work with this. Um, and then, uh, you know, certainly the New York could be the title of your layout. And this is beautiful here. And if you look, um, the way they've laid out the pattern, you could easily cut these into six by six. These two at least. Perhaps not that one. <clears throat> And I love this. Lots of the um, steampunk stuff, which kind of goes with the collection in general. You've got card toppers or embellishments for your mini album. <clears throat> I actually like these this side better. I just think uh, it's easier to, but if you do, uh, if you get two packs, then you can use the front and back and you could make cards with these easily, inside and out. It's beautiful. 
I love the balloons. Of course, this is sort of their signature clock. You see this a lot in Stamperia. If the clock is too big, you can take just the centerpiece. Got a propeller over here that you could add. And then these could easily be fussy cut and used elsewhere. These could be stuck behind photos. Or, or you can use it in a 12 by 12 as is. That's neat. Clever, clever. More steampunk looking stuff. And another page of cut aparts. This is a beautiful background page. Easy to use. This is the um, the images that I would focus on for the album. I would definitely focus on the airplane pieces of this, um, as it is the aviator, and then steer clear of some of the other ones, uh, just from a theme perspective. So these would be the things that I focus on less for the um, individual human images. But uh, that's just me, and I love the aviator glasses. Okay, so that's the collection pack. And here's the background. I love this color, these colors, and this page. <laughs> that's beautiful. Wow, look at that. Okay. I like these old newspaper clippings. They're so fun. So you've got Brooklyn City Map, New York. That's a beautiful page. That's really easy to use. These beautiful background pages are very easy to use. There's just enough on them that you could feature some of the um, images, um, but also you don't feel reluctant to cover them with photos. So you could go both ways. This is a fun page, even just for a trip to New York in general. That's fun. I think I'd fussy cut that out. All of these um, sketches are just so cool. So you could have a whole page just dedicated to balloons. That's pretty. Oh, and a little bit of more color here. I like that. Again, suitable for a trip to New York on a two-page layout or in a mini album. Wow, that's rich. That's really rich. I like it. So there you go. So that is the background collection for Sir Vagabond Aviator. This is the collection pack. Now, the um, last thing we have to go through is the collectibles. Oh, I think they used to hinge them at the top. I kind of like this. It's easier to deal with. So we've got um, basically what amounts to a background on one side and then cut aparts on the other. I love the planes. Nope, actually, it's front and back. So if you cut it out, it's got a front and a back, except for the cover, apparently. Yep. So you can have a dual-sided uh, cut apart, which is, is fun. These are fun. I like cutting these out. And there, there's another background in the back. The tags are a nice size. I like that. But again, you can use this um, as just additional background if you want. Lots of cut aparts. Got your clocks and your mechanisms. Oh, this is neat. There's all kinds of fun cut apart stuff that you can add as embellishments. Cool. Yeah, I think in this, I don't always feel like I need the collection pack, but I think I would get it in this case rather than trying to fussy cut from the 10 pages that you get. I think I'd do this. Um, that way I could preserve all the whole 12 by 12 to use for the rest of the project. Um, but you do, so there's a background sheet page. Yeah, so there are some that you can, that are dual purpose. So you get a little bit of both in there. So that is the Vagabond Aviator. So in addition to that, we have die cuts. And then these are die cuts also, they call them clear die cuts, which it's acetate basically. And then we have wooden shapes. And then we also have the chipboard pieces. So some of these mimic what you have in here. But as I recall, the scale's almost the same, but not quite. So you can see she's a little bit smaller than uh, the collection pack. But she's substantially smaller than what's in the 12 by 12. So, <coughs> 
please take a moment to go over to Scrap and Create and check out all of our new Stamperia collections, which are shipping now. I'll be back soon to do more reveals.